Hello. This is Dexter. Welcome to the show with Coach Canada. Welcome back to the show with Coach Canada. I'm Coach Canada, and on this channel, I share Trim Healthy Mama tips, tricks, hacks, and things to help you on your journey. Today, in honor of a no cheat challenge that I'm running in my free group, I am sharing number one tips to stay on plan. And because I know that I don't have all of the tips, what I did was I rallied some other Trim Healthy Mama coaches um, to come and share their favorite um, their number one tip to staying on plan. And so it's going to be a compilation of videos from other Trim Healthy Mama coaches sharing their number one tip. And there are some repeats and I decided to leave the repeats in because if multiple people are doing this one thing or two things, then it's probably something that we should be doing too. And so I left those in. So I apologize if you feel like repeats are redundant, but I think it's a great thing. Um, also, if you see a coach that you um, relate to, please feel free to click the link um, down in the comments. Um, every coach that participated here is linked in the comments. Um, I think that's it. Let's get started. Hi, my name is Coach Lisa, and my number one tip for staying on plan is accountability. So grab a friend, or even better, grab a coach, and you're well on your way to success. Hi, I'm Coach Rachel. My favorite tip for staying on plan is to make your favorite multi-serve dessert to enjoy all week long. Hi, my name is Dana with Victorious Living, and my number one tip for staying on plan is to prep two desserts ahead of time to always have something on hand. Hi Trim Healthy Mamas, this is Coach Heather with my Portion Forever Lifestyle Coaching for Trim Healthy Mama and I just wanted to share a tip with you today about staying on plan or avoiding cheats and my plan is just to have a simple plan to not worry about um, all those fancy dishes that you might see pictured and those are fun and if you have time and and the things to do that I say go for it. But if we just keep our ideas and meals simple, we're more likely to stick with them. Hey y'all, it's Mary Beth with Cheerful Health Coaching. My number one tip for staying on plan, other than being a Boy Scout and always being prepared, is to offer to bring a salad and a dessert with you to people's houses. If you bring a salad, you will know that you can load your plate up with non-starchy vegetables, super easy. And then if you have a dessert with you, you will not need to eat the dessert that is there you can also share it from Healthy Mama with the people who you are eating with. It's perfect. Hey guys, I'm Coach Jenna, and if I think I'm going to go off plan, I eat a crossover instead. Hi there, I am Elizabeth Apperson with Norris Trim, and my number one tip for staying on plan, honestly, it kind of changes from season to season, and the season I'm in right now, the thing that helps me the most is using the phrase, I'm that girl. It's really simple, but it's really strong and powerful. I hope that helps somebody today. Hi, this is Coach Shauna, and my tip or trick to stay on plan is to remember your why. Why did you decide to go on Tremelty Mama? Why are you doing this? Whenever you have that temptation, just remember why you're here and why you don't want to go off plan. Hey friends, this is Coach Dawn from Grace Abounds Coaching. My number one tip for staying on plan, no cheats ever. Iced coffee in the afternoon at about 2.30, 3 o'clock when the munchies hit. A cup of cold brew with a cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk, some ice, and some on-plan stevia. That's what gets me through my afternoons. Hello everybody, it's Chris Honeycutt, Head Trim Healthy Mama Coach and Certified Personal Trainer. And my number one tip for staying on plan is believe that you can. Hi, I'm Coach Penny. My number one tip for staying on plan is to know your why. Why are you doing this? Is it because you are sick and tired and you're sick and tired of being sick and tired and you just want to feel better? Is it because you want to have more energy for your kids or grandkids? Or maybe your doctor's told you you need to lose weight and your health depends on it. Whatever your why is, write it down, focus on it, and you'll be much more motivated to stay on plan. 
Hey guys, I'm Coach Nikki from Savory Sweet Freedom and my best tip for staying on plan with Trim Healthy Mama with no cheats is hit up your discount grocery stores and look for the deals. Okay, keep that refrigerator stocked with fresh produce and fresh meats so you have something quick and easy to grab when life doesn't seem easy. Hey, it's Coach Haven from Purposeful Eating. And one of my top tips for staying on plan is to know your weakness. Even us coaches have weaknesses and mine actually involves laziness. Uh, during the middle of the week, sometimes I just want to make a quick lunch or dinner and it's too easy for me to skip out on veggies. So what I do is at the beginning of the week, I wash and prep my veggies and keep them in these containers in the fridge. And so that way I have no excuse to skip out on that. Um, so once you know your weaknesses, acknowledge your weaknesses, you can come up with a plan and have that plan in place so it doesn't trip you up. Hi, I'm Edris Harvey with Restored Joy Coaching. My top tip for staying on plan is to prep, especially FP desserts and snacks. Here I've got the dry mix for a secret big boy from the cookbook. I've also got glass and glory pudding from the cookbook for my desserts. I've got yummy superfood chews already cut up in bite-sized pieces and little Ziploc bags to grab and go from the cookbook. And then I've got chocolate mint cupcakes without the mint from the future book so that I can add Coach Canada's Real Deal peanut butter to the top. Those are the things that help me stay on plan. Hey y'all, Trim Healthy Mama Lifestyle Coach Amanda Perkins here. And my number one tip for staying on plan is to make sure that you never allow yourself to get hangry or thirsty. So first, check yourself for thirst by having you a glass of water. Then have you a little snack. And then you can make the wise decision to stay on plan no matter where you are or where you go to eat or what you pick up. Hey friends, it's Coach Sarah here with Araya Hope Health, and I was asked, what is one tip that I would share with a trim, healthy mama? One thing that would get you started? Simple. Well, sort of. It's sort of simple. My go-to answer is always step one, get off sugar. You know the phrase, you can't have your cake and eat it too? That phrase drives me crazy because who wants a cake? that they can't eat, not me. I wanna have my cake and eat it too. But there's a question that comes before getting off sugar and I wanted to address that today. So my number one tip for you is, what's your why? What's your why? Why do you wanna get off sugar? Why do you wanna do Trim Healthy Mama? Let me show you my why. Find your why and you'll find your motivation. So that is my encouragement and my hope for you. Hi guys, I'm Pam Anderson from Huntsville, Alabama, and I love being a THM coach. We have so many tools in our tool belt to stay on plan, but my favorite one is muffins. If I could pick a favorite, my favorite is muffins. Muffins are the quick go-to. They can be a breakfast, paired with some collagen coffee and some fruit. An awesome snack. Um, easy to take in the car. Perfect to take on a trip. If you're traveling, take several different batches of several different kinds and you got your staying on plan breakfast or snack, um, however you wanna do it. I just pulled these anti-pearl muffins out of the oven. They came from the Trim Healthy Future cookbook. They are amazing, but we've got chocolate banana muffins, just peachy muffins, chocolate chip muffins, lemon poppy seed muffins, raspberry glaze. I'm telling you what, the muffins are so good. They also satisfy a sweet craving. That's what helps me stay on plan. I can grab something that's super healthy, but I feel like I'm having this little del um, delicacy. Um, from a bakery. So get yourself some Trim Healthy Mama muffins and have a great day. Hi mamas, this is Coach Deanne. My number one tip for staying on plan is don't keep food in your house that tempts you. Hi, I am Coach Sandra and my number one tip to staying on plan is to have healthy treats in the freezer so that when you get hungry, you have something quick to go grab. 
Hi, I'm Coach Derek, also known as Trim Healthy Papa, and I stay on plan by having a better memory. I don't mean I need to improve my memory, but rather remember better things. I remember when I lived in a dark place and carried my weight that I would remember all of my failures. Today, I stay on plan by remembering my victories instead. Hi. My name is Coach Lisa of General Health, and my number one tip for staying on plan is to take advantage of the convenient pre-prepped foods that are out there. Yes, they are slightly more expensive than buying them and doing it yourself, but sometimes it's worth the added expense to stay on plan and make your prep a little easier. You can get pre-cut veggies, and the veggie spirals. You can get pre-portioned veggies to take on the go with you pre-hard-boiled and peeled eggs for on-the-go protein, and even dairy-free pizza crust that's completely on plan. Hey mamas, it's Mama Fox, and I'm bringing a tip to you to help you keep on track, keep on plan, super easy. Um, if you know anything about me, you know I don't love um, meal prepping or meal planning, but listen, I know those are important. So here's my trick. I make sure I have dry mixes on hand at all times, and I've got three in particular that I always want to have on hand. Number one, protein shake mix. I have all the goodies in here, like baobab, sunflower, lecithin, and that way I know I've got it all pre-mixed. Um, makes a great shake. This is a fuel pool, so I can take it any direction I want to take it for breakfast in the morning. I don't have one every day, but quite often. Miracle Mousse Makeover. That's in Trim Healthy Table, page 444. It's a great fuel pool treat for nighttime, but it takes a few minutes to make. Make a batch, uh, bulk mix of all the dry ingredients that um, put, goes into it, except for the gelatin. Leave that one out, um, but you'll have it ready. It saves a lot of time at night. And then the last one is my cocoa mix, my Hot Mama Cocoa Mix. This can actually be made into cold chocolate milk or hot chocolate. It is an ultra fuel pool and it takes a while to drink it when it's hot. So at nighttime, this is a great way to end the day without hardly any calories at all when you really don't need them anyway, but it feels decadent and enjoyable. And that's my tip. Hello, Fondy Bruce here with Intentional Journey for Health. I wanted to give you a quick tip for staying on plan that works for me and encourage you to stay hydrated. This is what I use. This is my really cool water bottle, has my name on the side. Um, over the years, I've had several different ones. I've had them decorated up with stickers to make them personal and make them fun. But I use my water bottle. I do not leave my house without my water bottle. I fill it up with ice and water. Only water goes in this water bottle. Keeps it a little, makes it a little easier to stay clean and keep clean. But anyway, if I'm going anywhere in, in the car, in the van, if I'm driving, if I'm riding, if I'm traveling, if I'm running to town, if I'm going to church, I take this water bottle with me filled with water, make it my goal to drink it before I get home. Staying hydrated is a huge part of staying on plan, so do not leave the house without a plan to stay hydrated. Blessings to all you ladies. Bye. Hi, I'm Robin Miller from Trim Victories. One tip that helps me stay on plan like nothing else is getting myself an accountability partner. Well, this is Coach Leslie coming to you from my front porch here in Alabama. I hope you're having a great day. My top tip for you to stay on, be staying on plan is to know your why and to write it down. Hi, I'm Coach Linda Johnson, and my number one tip for staying on plan is vegetables. Always be prepared with vegetables. If you're eating a meal and you get done and you feel like, oh, that wasn't quite enough, add more vegetables. If you get ready to have a snack and you want it now, quick, go to the fridge, grab vegetables. These are my two favorites. They go with everything. You go for these, keep them in your fridge at all times. Don't run out. It will help you stay on plan. Hi friends, Coach Jasmine with Trimtastic Health and Wellness, and I'm here today to share my number one tip with you for staying on plan. Focus on the things that you can have, not the things you cannot have. So with Trim Healthy Mama, we are choosing to put aside the white process, the sugars, the you know fried um, fatty foods, not healthy fats, we can enjoy those, but it can be easy to feel like that you're all alone if your family or your friends around you are not following the plan. 
Um, but you can focus on the things that you can have. Fruit can become nature's candy. You can have things like skinny chocolate or my version of happy chocolate, um, different things. Your taste buds do adjust, uh, change your mindset. And sometimes it takes a little bit of time for your taste buds to adjust, but don't feel like that um, you just cannot have any of your favorites. You can learn to establish new favorites, learn to um, enjoy the journey and don't be constantly saying, oh, well, I can't have that on, on my diet or I can't have that the way I eat. Instead, make yourself a list, pin it on your refrigerator, tape it on your wall, whatever you need to do, things that you really enjoy. And when you're tempted to go back and eat those things that you really shouldn't be eating, that aren't going to help lead your body to a healthier you, then instead read that list. Find some things that you really enjoy and that you like, grab one of them, learn to love sippers and embrace them and enjoy the journey. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Hi, I'm Kelly Rackley with Find Your Shine with Coach Kelly. And my number one tip for staying on plan is always have on plan snacks ready to go. Hi, Mama. It's my name is Coach Molly, and I've been doing THM for almost eight years. I've been coaching for a little over three years, and I just love the food freedom that it gives. My number one tip for staying on plan is to make sure you have the right groceries in the house. I love having a plan. I love having a meal plan, but I also know that things happen, life happens, and we have to change things up, um, which is just fine as long as you have the right groceries in the house. You can make a THM meal out of almost anything. So if you feel like you don't have enough time to grocery shop, first of all, you need to make that a priority. And second of all, you can do online grocery shopping. I love just to go onto my Walmart app and I order my groceries. I know exactly how much I'm spending. I can even go into my favorites and it is really quick and easy. And then I just go and I pick them up. So if you have the right groceries in the house, then you will be able to feed yourself in a way that gives you energy, sustainable energy, and you will have time to do all of the busy things in your life. Hey, this is THM coach Leah Harvey, and my number one tip for staying on plan is actually two parts, because you want to find a deep personal reason why you want to be on this plan. And this is more than just weight loss or fitting into a smaller size of pants. This is a long-term health mindset, so a, a goal of longevity or hormone balance or avoiding a health concern. Those are deep reasons why, which can be very powerfully motivating even when the going gets tough. And second of all, physically, you want Want to optimize your protein intake. I can't tell you how many clients I've had that radically changed their lives when they optimized their protein intake because cravings went down, hunger went down, and they were able to stay more compliant because they weren't as hungry and they weren't craving so much. So optimize your protein intake, find your deep reason why, and cheers to staying on plan. Hey there, mamas. I'm Coach Jen, and my number one tip for staying on plan is to take a moment and think about how I feel mentally and physically when I go off plan. Brain fog and bloating are not my friends. Hi, ladies. I am Coach Shu with Graceful Healing, and the number one tip that I can think of for staying on plan has to do with when you go out to eat. If you're one of these that enjoys having something to crunch, like if you are the type that enjoys chips and dip or chips and salsa when you go out to a restaurant, um, there's two things you can do. Number one is keep a zippy in your purse of a veggie, celery, cucumbers, peppers, whatever. Um, this way you can still have the dip without having the extra calories or carbs or the off-plan oils and stuff that usually comes with um, those types of chips and or ask, look at your waiter and say, can I have the salsa, but can I also have a side of celery instead of the chips or in, or to go with the chips? Cause I know a lot of our families enjoy the chips and salsa themselves. We let the kids have the chips and we can have the veggies. Still enjoying that family time while also um, being able to partake. Hi there, I'm Coach Mary, and I wanted to share you, with you my number one tip for staying on plan. I make sure that I have lots of options available to me for the areas that I really struggle in to stay on plan, and I hope that this tip helps you. Hi, I'm Coach Sarah of Balanced Approach Coaching. 
my number one tip to staying on the Trim Healthy Mama plan is to assume the identity of a Trim Healthy Mama. The more it becomes who you are, the more it becomes what you do. One way to accomplish this is to speak it over yourself every single day. I am a Trim Healthy Mama. It also helps if you tell other people that too. God bless you in your journey to health and food freedom. Hey everybody, this is Coach Charlotte with Time and Compass. Just a quick tip in regards to staying on plan. The best way for me to do that is to prep for success. So I always make a weekly menu based off of our activities that we're gonna be having um, during the week. So if we have a lot of meals that are gonna be on the road, going to and from kid activities, I make sure to have some cold things prepared and prepped. If we're gonna be able to have more time to make dinner or to make breakfast during the week, I can have those accordingly. And I always make my grocery list based off of my menu. So I save money by only buying the things that are on the list and I'm less likely to go down the junk food aisles because I know I didn't have anything on the list from those anyways. All right, guys, stay strong. Hi there. I'm Annie. I run Goldenberry Teach Him Coaching. And a fun little tip that I found for staying on plan is make it hard to cheat and easy to stay on plan. So really the bulk of your efforts um, should be how to smooth the way to eating on plan. So things like double your smoothie, freeze it in popsicle form as an on-plan popsicle, bake some investment baking. These are our BAM cakes in muffin molds and I just keep them in the fridge ready to go and make it hard to eat off-plan. So like my counter, I don't keep the off-plan stuff here. I do have family that eat off-plan. This is a cabinet I don't normally open. So check it, it's all the yuck. I have no reason to open that cabinet. Out of sight, strangely, really often is out of mind. The stuff I don't see it and it doesn't call to me. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. Hi there. My name is Heather Richman. I'm a coach over at Let's Eat Cake for Breakfast. The one way I stay on plan, um, whenever I leave the house, I grab the Ziploc bin full of my on-plan goodies. Um, it's got everything that I need to bless my hunger while I'm out and about around town. I've even got my sweetener and my hydrates so that I can just drop right in my water bottle that always goes with me. So this is my um, THM pot of gold. Hey, it's Coach Canada. Um, my number one tip to staying on plan is remembering that I am in whether I want to eat off plan or not. Um, especially during no cheats, um, outside accountability is really helpful. I just remember that there's other people have told that I am not going to eat off plan. And so that helps, but also just knowing it's my choice if I want to eat off plan or not. Um, and I quote her all the time. Food does not happen to you. And so um, make a choice. Make sure that choice lines up with your results that you want to achieve and get on with your life. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, glory to God.